two blocks away from the Chinese restaurant and I realized that one, I'm not done, and two, I'm never going to make it home. I squeeze my butt cheeks and hold on to dear life as I drive onward. So y'all might remember back in the day, we did this thing where we looked at the craziest Reddit stories and questions, and then we played, uh, we did the little bingo board with it. So we're bringing that idea back. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've said this before. I'll say it again. We've seen the worst of Reddit. I'm not going to lie. The worst of Reddit is all of Reddit. So we're about to get into the questions, frequently asked questions and crazy stories of Reddit, and then we're going to put them on the bingo board. If you're watching on YouTube, Twitch Blue Rye, in the description, don't miss the streams. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. What did your spouse do or say that made you realize they were cheating on you? Mm. My ex fiance used to love Ed Sheeran. We both did. It's a red flag off rip. You know what I'm saying? Now, Ed Cool, Ed Cool don't get it fucked up, but that's a red flag off, off rip. That's 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 her favorite right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to cap. You was already cooked from the beginning. That's tough. His music is just incredible. He touches so many souls with his beautiful music. So, as a surprise for my ex, I had secretly brought two tickets to see Ed Sheeran in London, UK, whilst he was on tour a few Shout years out, ago. Ed, that's a go. I had organized travel down to London, booked a really nice hotel room for the night too. The plan was to go down to London via train, mm. grab some nice food, and then go to the Ed Sheeran concert. This was to celebrate our six-year anniversary of being together. Okay. The day we were due to go, I'd arranged with Damn. her parents in secret to babysit our daughter. So he said he's been with his girl for six years. I'm not gonna lie. I've never been the ex and or crosswords. Yes, that's yep. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I've never been cheated on, but if I get cheated on after six years, I'm gonna cry. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna cry. So I drove my daughter over to my ex's parents' house and told my ex that I had works. a nice if it, surprise for her. If it, if it touches, if it touches each other, like if it intersects, if it intersects, then that, then yes, yes. Or when I got back, I got back and she'd gone with a note saying she'd been called into work at short notice. She apologized and said she couldn't wait for the surprise later that day. This was a disaster as she hadn't been scheduled to work, and I'd spent literally about a thousand pounds on the total trip. This included okay. train tickets, hotel booking, money for a nice meal out at a nice restaurant, Damn. plus the cost of the concert tickets which were several hundred on their own each. Damn. What she didn't realize is that I knew full well she wasn't at work because her best friend was in on the secret. She worked with my ex and had spoken to their HR department and booked two days off for my ex fiance in secret to help me out. She confirmed via text a few days prior that they uh, had that week's rota and she was definitely off work so the plan was a go. I called her best friend and explained the situation. She was shocked and said there was no way she could be in work as she was currently there herself. Ah, uh, uh, he's cooked, he's cooked, he's cooked, he's cooked, he's cooked, he's cooked, he's cooked. Ah, uh, I hate to hear it. I really do hate to hear it. Let's, let's My ex wasn't in. I immediately felt betrayed and knew immediately something was off. Drove by her work, her car wasn't there. I drove to her family's houses and drove past Cosley. Her car was nowhere to be found. And can y'all imagine how y'all ever had that, like, that heart in your ass feeling? Like, when you feel your pants pocket and your phone's not there, my nigga? Or, like, when your mom says your full legal government name? Like, like shit like that. Y'all ever have that heart in your ass feeling, bro? Bro, I guarantee bro had his heart was in his ass the entire time, bro. Because he knew, he already had a thought in his head and he didn't want it to be true, bro, but... Sadly here, you know what I'm saying? I drove past a few of her friends' places, and again, no car. I got home and sat and waited up until 10 p.m. that night before she came back. I asked her where she'd been. She just point blank looked me in the eye and said, work where else? She asked what the surprise was, I just said forget it, I just got up and went to my best mate's house and just cried. Later on she denied anything happened but it came out she'd been having an affair for two years with a colleague. What? I had no- Two years is crazy! Two years is crazy. Two years is actually insane. Two years is ridiculous. Jesus Christ, she, she did a whole Luffy time skip with another nigga when she's been married to somebody for six years, bro. Chat, I don't, I don't really get it, man. I don't get that shit, bro. You're not fucking with somebody, bro. Just dip out, bro. Just dip out, bro. Like, that's tough. I'm not gonna hold you. I, I probably, I really will break down. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That means every time your wife came home and kissed you, you had some DBC on your lips. Now that's a tough story, I ain't gonna cap to you. No idea. I've been single ever since and she literally broke me and destroyed me and our family in every way possible. It makes it worse when kids are involved because it breaks your heart when your young oh. daughter asks why daddy isn't coming home. Oh, I've never been the same tough. since. I suffer with multiple mental health issues now due to it. I have extremely low self-esteem and confidence due to the whole situation and my moods became very low like all the time. 
People, and people, bro, people really, child, you ever realize, bro, people really only give a fuck about their own feelings. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. Some of the stories on here really hit home how devastating the consequences of cheating are. She had always been so careful and at the time I saw no prior signs of her cheating. Yeah. Now I look back there were clear signs, but sometimes you overlook things like how late someone gets home, Facts. or who they're out with, because Facts. I trusted she was not going to cheat on me. I guess ultimately she tripped herself up as all cheaters do eventually. What did Facts. your spouse do or say that made you- I ain't gonna lie, that's- everybody who has a crush on somebody and ends up going bad or you get in a relationship with somebody, there's always, there's always red flags that we don't- we just either- we just like subconsciously ignore just like, bruh. I really don't give a fuck like that, bro. I used to talk to this girl who smoked all the time. All she did was smoke. All she did was smoke. Like she need in order to eat, she had to smoke. And I'm talking about uh gas, I'm not talking about cigarettes. We don't do we don't associate with nobody who smokes any cigarettes. But she in order to eat, she had to smoke. In order to sleep, she had to smoke. In order to shit, she had to smoke. In order to do anything, she had to smoke. Like literally, bro. Like that's literally addiction. So we got free. Um. Oh, you you pinned it. Okay, bet. Minecraft related. Minecraft. Oh yeah, Minecraft was in the back. Um, Minecraft, 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 Minecraft. Bitch, I'm drowning. I just, uh, okay, Minecraft. Relationships. Okay. Uh, I'm blind. Y'all give me a second. Um, mental health. Yep, mental health. Yep. L story. I don't feel like it was an L story. I feel like it was a it was a good story. It just made us mad though. So I don't think it was an L story. I don't think it was an L story. All right. What's the most inappropriate thing your teacher has done in class? There was a kid in my class named Keenan. He was slightly a bully to our peers, but really would misbehave with our teachers. He would even go as far to pick on them and try to embarrass them. He would do so in a way that he wouldn't really get in a lot of trouble. It's hard to explain, but it was almost in a joking, patronizing way. So I didn't come across as outright disrespect. But he would pick on people in front of the class and make everybody laugh. Not a physically violent bully. Mm. One time Keenan was misbehaving in Mr. Skinner's like bitch, class, yeah. our algebra teacher. He was making fun of his tweed sports jacket he wore over his corduroy pants and short, low ponytail that he wore at the back of his neck. To be fair, that's bad fits, but uh, the teacher about to spaz out. Pre-teacher spaz, for sure. Mr. Skinner was one of those laid-back, hippie teachers that played guitar and attempted to connect with all the kids. We all loved him and looked forward to his class. Mr. Skinner usually would just ignore Keenan's disruptions and would kindly say, okay, class, let's focus on the board. But today, Mr. Skinner just wasn't having He's it. On BT. Keenan made a comment about his large glasses and compared him to Mark David Chapman, he the guy that BT. shot John Lennon. Mr. Skinner turns around from the board and says, Before we get into what Mr. Skinner's about to say, bro, he was on, not only was he on BT, but y'all gotta understand, I don't know why y'all act like these teachers ain't people, bro. Teachers got bad days, especially them laid back teachers. Y'all be taking advantage of these laid back teachers. I used to have a teacher. His name was Mr. Scott. He taught uh like philosophy or psych psychology. And this one precious looking ass girl would make the teacher do the assignments for her in order to pass, nigga. And even then, she still ain't turning the work. Nigga. We all know you're poor. But mm. just because your dad walked out and your mom's a drunk on welfare oh doesn't my mean you have to be such an effing I hole all the time. Cook him, cook him, get him, roast, get his ass. Come on, man. Damn. <laughs> Is that facts? No, 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 the the class clowns and the bullies be the first one to snitch every time, bro. Class clowns and bullies always are the first one to snitch, bro. He just spin facts. That's tough. We all know you're poor, but just because your dad walked out and your mom's a drunk on welfare doesn't mean you have to be such an effing eye hole all the time. So will you just shut the f up so I, I can class teach you math? Crazy. So you can attempt to make something out of your pathetic Please life. Don't fire him. If not, then go to the principal's office. We were all stunned. Keenan didn't say anything. He just had a red face and looked angry. He grabbed yeah. his book and stormed out of the class. As far as my knowledge goes, nothing ever happened to Mr. Skinner getting in trouble for speaking. Yes, sir, Mr. Skinner, come on, man. Yo, shout out Mr. Skinner, man. That's a real nigga right there. I ain't gonna cap to you. W school, W administration, W life, W community, W everything, man. That's a W story right there. I ain't gonna lie, they put Keenan ass on hush mode, bro.
That's 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 that really brought a smile to my face. I ain't gonna lie. There's nothing that puts a, a smile on my face than seeing uh bullies get uh fucking cursed out. And no, he didn't even get cursed out, bro. Just got his life ruined, bro. Like in front of the whole class. That's tough. Um, what's that story you've never been able to tell? I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. In elementary school, we had a program called DARE where a police officer would come into our class and teach us about the dangers of substance and alcohol abuse. I think we had that too. Year, he prompted us to write an essay about what we learned over the course of the year in DARE. He also advised us that the author of the best essay in the class would receive a stuffed lion, appropriately named Darren. Now I really wanted this lion, but the problem with that was my writing skills were those of a typical third grader. There was no way that anything I wrote about my time in DARE would stand out enough for my fellow classmates to win Darren. So I did what any desperate 10-year-old would do. Google DARE essay contest winners, and then plagiarize the first one that came wow. up in my searches. Now this was done diligently, carefully proofreading to ensure that I wasn't going to turn in an essay with somebody else's name in it somewhere. You didn't proofread enough, nigga. I'm not gonna lie, you ain't use paraphrase engine, you ain't you ain't use chat. I ain't gonna lie, chat. It wasn't back then, but no, you could definitely like, you ain't try to paraphrase paraphrase nothing, bro. Oh I think it went out sad. He about to get caught for show though. He about to get caught for show though. Play, bro, plagiarizing at 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If he was plagiarizing at age 10, just wrap that shit up, bro. At that point, bro, school's not for you. Uh, enlist in like army. Like start looking into to army drafts. I ain't gonna cap to you because school's not for you. If you already plagiarizing at age 10, that's ridiculous. I'm not gonna cap. I went through and changed phrasing or a word here and there, but by no means would it pass through Turnitin calm with less than 90% plagiarized. Confident in my chances of winning Darren, I turned in the essay to Mr. Officer, and what do you know? A week later we had our end of year reception, at the municipal building which also contained the police station. He listed the top three essays, third place, second place, and then he said holding Darren, the best DARE essay submitted this year was written by Yosoikuri. Come on up here, get your Darren stuffed animal, and read your essay to us please. I was so excited I won the animal it was never even a thought that crossed my mind that I would have to deliver this speech. So I reluctantly walked up, took my stuffed animal, and all I can remember at this point is shaking so bad, it looked like I was going to fall over at the mic. All of my class- And you not chat, you gonna do that, bro? Which I cannot, we do not condone plagiarism over here at BBG Productions. But if you're going to do it, and you're going to go full through, and you're cheating or plagiarizing, nigga, you can't be a bitch, bro. And the entire local municipality's worth of police officers with their full attention on me, a 10-year-old little fraud of a student. To this day, it's one of my most shameful moments, and I still have Darren sitting on my desk for discouragement from copying others' work. What's that story you've never been able to tell? In elementary school, we had a program- Darren is a bitch, nigga! So that affected- that affected niggas so much. That affected niggas so much. That affected niggas so much to where the story had to be told this far in the future. I thought they cooked him. Darren is a bitch, nigga. Oh, Darren is the plush? Oh, well, I thought, I don't know why I thought that was the main character name. The main character is a bitch. And the fact, Darren a bitch too, nigga. Story. L story. Um, let's see. What was, what was this? Minecraft still? Um, that's the all we can get. We can only do L story. What is the most horrific thing you have done in public? One afternoon at lunch, I went to hang out with my then- Oh, Pi is sore for private investigator. Oh, well, I already skipped it. It's tough. What is the most horrific thing you have done in public? One afternoon at lunch, I went to hang out with my then wife where she worked at a convenience store. At lunchtime, I decided to grab some nachos. Okay. I got the plate of chips and smothered them in cheese and then topped them off with a layer of jalapenos. Mm, I started to okay. eat the nachos, one chip at a time, with a gob of cheese and one slice of jalapeno for each. This is very random. Are y'all uh, a one nacho? Are y'all a nacho dip type of person? Y'all put y'all cheese on top. I mean, like a nacho cheese dip type of person, or y'all put all your cheese on top? Both on top. Both. I'm more. I'm more of a dipper. I'm more of a dipper. Chip. For some reason, I couldn't get enough. They tasted so amazing. I had more chips than jalapenos and quickly ran out. I went back to the condiment bar and loaded up more jalapenos Damn. so that I could continue my one jalapeno per chip regimen. I finished the nachos and all in all, I would say that I probably consumed six to seven complete jalapenos by the time I was done. Damn. Day goes on, kids get out of school, wife gets off work, and off- By the way, his stomach is done. If we go to dinner at the all-you-can-eat Chinese food place that had become our once-a-month custom. Yeah, his stomach is done, by the way. I just want this to know, like, I know I already know where this story go. His stomach is done. About halfway through dinner, my stomach started making a few yeah. little gurgling sounds. Bubble guts. I brushed it off and continued my dinner. As we were about to leave, I suddenly felt my stomach knot up and it nearly took me to my knees. <laughs> I told the wife and kids to get- I fell out to my knees when the law came. 
Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like everybody's had that moment. Like, okay, most of us, this is all TMI, by the way, but most of us can hold our shit in. But then we all had this moment where we really, really gotta go, bro. And literally, it feels like we being punched in the gut, bro. Like, it's like we got to. Like, there ain't no waiting. There ain't no saving, bro. Like, this shit is crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, bro sat on himself. This is the only way this is on Reddit. He sat on himself. We know. We already know. Give me a minute as I headed to the bathroom. Now the fun begins. I get into the bathroom and barely get my pants down in time to explode into the toilet. It was not for the faint of heart. The red hot liquid fire that was shooting out of me like a flamethrower nearly brought me to tears. I finished up, <laughs> so I thought, and headed out. Grabbed the family, got in the minivan, Ford Windstar, and we headed home. Two blocks away from the Chinese restaurant and I realized that one, I'm not done, and two, I'm never going to make it home. I squeeze my butt cheeks and hold on for dear life as I drive onward. toilet and i've been praying bro that's called the level five and by the way here's the five levels of shit just to let y'all know this is educational purposes only the five levels of shit level one regular shit may be comfortable for some level two gets a little bit up there but still okay still decent not too crazy not too crazy just maybe a little bit less comfortable Level three is when you start getting a little bit ridiculous. Level three is when, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just uncomfortable at that point. It's dead ass uncomfortable. Um, it could be worse, but it's like dead ass getting uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? You start curling a little bit and everything like that. That's that's when it's that's when it really gets uncomfortable. Level four is when it starts getting crazy. Level four, articles of clothes are coming off. The shirt, the shirt may come off in a level four. You know what I'm saying? Sweating, you're gonna start getting hot flashes. You know what I'm saying? The bubble guts might be emerging. It might not be all the way there, but you're gonna start getting hot flashes. Articles of clothes might end up coming off, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, step something's gonna happen. If you are in a level five, <laughs> If you're in the level five situation, um, wow. If you're in a level five situation, you're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. I'm not gonna lie, you're cooked. All clothes at this point is all. You're sweating bullets, bubble butt, <laughs> all around, my nigga. You end up laying on the floor. You sitting like these. You sitting like. You start praying to God. Even some of y'all atheist people, y'all start praying to somebody, bro. Y'all don't even believe in nobody. Y'all start praying to somebody, bro. Oh my God, Lord, I'll never do anything. I, I, I never do anything bad again in my life. If you just let me get through this. I, I promise that I apologize for doing this yesterday. Like I promise I'll never do anything bad ever again. If you just let me get through this shit right now, bro. Bro, you in the you in the joint for like an hour to two hours, bro. And 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 don't try to leave within ten minutes. You gonna come back. You gonna come back a couple times. I'm telling you, bro. That's the five stages of shit right there from Blue Rod. Um, it applies to everybody. No funny shit. Done. And two, I'm never going to make it home. I squeeze my butt cheeks and hold on for dear life as I drive onward. A few blocks up, and I see my salvation, a Burger King restaurant. I pull in, slam the brakes, jump out, and butt cheek clench waddle as fast as humanly possible to the bathroom. I'd like to say at this point that I got my pants all the way down and got all the way seated on the toilet before I started shooting liquid hot magma out of my butt, but alas, I cannot. I essentially sprayed the toilet and the wall behind it with a coating of Satan's jelly. I nearly ran them oh, out of toilet paper so cleaning up after myself and once again into the fray I went. Back out in the van, the wife and kids are chuckling at my predicament, as they realize that I'm suffering pretty badly. I get back behind the wheel, exhausted, with my butt on absolute fire, and begin the trek home. As you may have guessed, I- By the way, this is exactly why I stopped eating- Hot Cheetos, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I did have a Hot Cheeto phase where Hot Cheeto was one of my favorite chips and I would eat it, but the after effects of Hot Cheetos is actually deadly. I ain't gonna cap. If you can eat more than one bag of Hot Cheetos at one time, I'm not gonna lie, you don't love yourself, bro. You don't love it, because you're gonna feel that shit. Especially that spicy food, you're gonna to feel, especially if you just eat straight spice all the time, you're gonna feel that shit, bro. There's no way you're not gonna feel that shit. I'm not gonna cap to you. 
I was still not done expelling whatever demons were in my bowels, and it only took a few more blocks before I was driving with my legs Hi, locked tight, guru. working with all my might to clench my butt cheeks. Yeah. I was locked so tight that the only thing that was touching the seat was the back of my legs on the bottom of the oh seat and my, my shoulder God. blades on the top of the seat. By now, my family is roaring in laughter, and the <sighs> louder I screamed it's not funny, the Yo. harder and harder they laughed. I was in excruciating was pain, screaming? but for some reason, I convinced myself I could make it home. Oh, okay, this might be a level six. I'm not gonna lie. This this nigga might be on level six time. And yo, bro is screaming, bro. He's going through the motions, bro. Like, I'm not gonna you. I've never yelled during a fucking shit. Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. This is this, this probably level six. This is a level I don't think I've reached before. Bro is screaming. I don't think I've reached that level yet. I'm not gonna cap to you. The best laid plans of mice and men. A few blocks from the house I could hold on no more, and little squirts of molten lava started seeping out of me. I get home, slam the van in park, jump out, crapping a little when I hit the ground, and start running into the house, crapping a little with each step. I get into the house, get to the bathroom, put my back to the toilet, rip my pants down and proceed to give the toilet and the wall behind it a nice new coating of what can only be described in the physical Please, no. realm as pure evil. As I sat there trembling and crying in pain, my kids were outside the bathroom yelling are you alright dad? Need us to come in and help you dad? Yes, they are spawns of Satan himself. At the time, I did not see any humor in it, but now, reflecting back, I suppose I would be laughing as well. It must have been hilarious to see the look of pure terror on my face, see the sweat running down my forehead, and most of all, the butt clench run slash walk from the van to the Burger King and the van to the house. Anyway, I destroyed three bathrooms and any respect my kids may have ever had for me in one evening. What is the most horrific thing you- Down horrible. All right, what we got? Um, so we got food related. That's the first one. I'm gonna go on food related. That's the first one that I really, really feel was there. Um, WTF or so, and relatable. Yeah, I give it relatable. I give it relatable. Somebody has to have bingo. Somebody has to have bingo. Somebody has to have bingo. I was about to say, I'm not gonna hold you. Okay, this is intersecting. Yeah, he's good. Use this to why my 32 female husband, 39 male, started coming home early and also why his mom would be at our house whenever I returned, but I brushed it off. This thing has been going on for almost a year before, he would just go to his mom's after work before coming home at 9, now he gets home around 4 p.m. and I at 7 p.m. Well, last week I had to get off work early for some reason, I got home went straight to our bedroom and heard love making sounds. What is this? I was confused and thought my husband had another woman in there. I didn't try to open the door, I just walked away, got out of the house and went to a nearby cafe to process everything, then went home later acting like I just got from work, when I got back I found him and his mom as usual at the dining room having a conversation, I didn't bring up what I heard. Instead, I decided to purchase a hidden camera and- Buying a hidden camera is fucking insane in the first place by the way, if you feel like you have to buy a hidden camera that's crazy, but it, it, this is even crazier in the whole context of this story right now. Place them in our bedroom, this was two days ago, well today. I got the chance to be on my own to watch. What happens whenever he comes home early, he came in with his mom into our bedroom, he went into the bathroom, while she got undressed, he came back into the bedroom and started kissing her. Alright, we're gonna stop right there, we're gonna just stop right there. I personally do not want to finish that story, uh, we're, we're gonna stop it, we're gonna stop it right there, we're gonna, we're gonna stop it right there, we're gonna, we're gonna stop it right there. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. We would have stopped that right there. I don't, I don't want to. I can't confirm that he's lying, but I'm just going to assume that bro's lying. For the girls, nigga, that's not for anybody, bro. That's not for anybody. Put relatable. Go to hell. Go to hell, bro. Go to hell. Go to hell. Um, life. I walked in on my husband humping my favorite pillow. down bad do you have to be <laughs> how down bad as a man do you have to be to where you are humping your wife's pillow bro how down bad do you have to be bro i'm gonna keep this nice and short i don't know how to feel about this i feel disgusted but i also think it's funny I had come from work on a break around 6.20 p.m. and he had messaged me that I should have my dinner at home because he had cooked and my house isn't far from work and it's only a 20 minutes drive without traffic. My break ends at 7 p.m. When I opened the door I was met with a beautiful sight of candlelight dinner, a table filled with flowers and food. My heart filled with joy. He was wearing a black suit and holding tulips, my favorite flower. 
What's the occasion? I asked him, and he replied with can I just spoil my wife? He said, kissing me, I smiled and kissed him back, he then led me to the dining room table and we prayed together and dug in. Yeah, After going, about 20 minutes strokes. we were done and I was packing my bag to go back to work. He then hugged me from behind kissing my neck and from the way he was kissing I could tell he wanted more than to kiss but I gently pushed him off and said, I can't I'll be late for work, I promise when I come back we'll get to it and I'm sure you can go for an hour. I put my hands around his neck and kissed him goodbye. But he stopped me. Can't we just do a quickie? He cried. Nope I replied and I took my car keys and drove away. No way nigga! So because he ain't getting no butt in that moment, that nigga was so down bad to where he decided to fuck a pillow bro? <laughs> bro could wait. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all y'all sexual deviants need to get like indefinite prison time, bro. There's there's nothing that that like y'all y'all sexual deviants need to be in jail. I, I come on bro. Come on bro. Halfway through the drive I realized I had forgotten my wallet and phone, so I turned around and went back. I opened the house door and found the kitchen cleaned up. I walked into the dining room and found my phone and wallet, but as I was about to go I heard faint groans and moans. My stomach dropped. I put everything down and walked upstairs to our bedroom. The whole entire time I thought he had found someone who had filled his needs, that he was cheating on me in my house, in my bed right after I left. But as I got closer I heard him moaning my name. And I slowly opened my door, he was facing the opposite. I'm not gonna lie, would you, I, 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 I low-key, this might sound crazy, but, like, would you rather your significant other fucking somebody else or fucking your pillow? Y'all gonna say the pillow, obviously, but I feel like none of them are really good like that. I feel like, like, if you catch them doing that, like, there's something wrong with this person. I'm not gonna cap to you. I will say the pillow too, but like, I feel like it, it's not a good thing either to catch them, you know what I'm saying? But pillow, 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 but it's still crazy. Jesus Christ, bro. And I slowly opened my door. He was facing the opposite direction. I saw his butt clenching and unclenching his butt. I stood there for a while and before he came undone, I laughed. I don't know what came over me, but I couldn't contain it. He jumped up through my pillow aside and pulled up his pants. He looked at me embarrassed and shocked. Oh, that pillow gonna have a little, little syrup, a little, a little, a little white syrup on there today. You know what I'm saying? You might not want to use that pillow today. I ain't gonna cap. After I stopped laughing, he said, I thought you were gone. And that made me laugh even more. I then told him I'll leave him alone so he can continue. I called work and told them I wouldn't make it for the last hour. It has been two hours and he won't speak even though I told him it was okay and I told him we could do it, but he was too ashamed. The sight of it. Whose fault is that, bro? I ain't gonna lie, this, this, her husband is a bitch. Uh, the bro's a, a certified weirdo, bro. You need to investigate him for this story alone. alone. I'm not gonna capture you. Him clenching and unclenching his butt was the part that got me the most. What is a secret? Yeah. If they ever break up, he's cooked. If they ever break up, he's cooked. I want y'all to know, if they ever break up, the husband is cooked, literally. I'm not gonna capture you. Uh, the pillow's definitely the victim here. I don't think anybody can, can try to deny that. Uh, for the guys, no, 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 no. I see a pinned message, but ain't nothing on it. Or is that just me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, make sure to mark down relatable. What? For the girls? Uh, technically, it could it could have gone either way. Like, if it's for the girls, it has to be like a a girl. Like, it has to be a girl question or a girl, like, you know what I'm saying? It has to be a girl-based question type of, type of thing, I think. Um, Subway Surfers. Okay. Average Reddit user. But it was the husband, not the user itself. It was the husband, not the user itself. It was the husband, not the user, who's fucking the pillow. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, can't, can't do that. Not safe. For, did we not already hit not safe? Yeah, we did. We did. We did. Mental health, not gonna lie. <laughs> I give y'all that. I give y'all that too. I give y'all that too. Interesting, relatable. How's that relatable? And what is a surprising fact you discovered about men? That they are not criticizing women's bodies as much as women are led to believe, maybe by mm. themselves or whomever is driving this culture. Mm. They are far more acceptant of how women look like naturally than women themselves. Mm. This was such a game changer for me. You guys can see. That fact. Well, not all of you. I'm not going to you. Some men do be doing that. Not all niggas. It, it just depends. I, mean, I could say some of us, not all of us, for, for regardless of how we spend it. But nah, that, 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 that's facts. That's facts. I feel like I feel like a lot of the time, like, it don't even be like that. It don't even be like that. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, some of y'all do be like, some of y'all do be doing that, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that to be a fact. Can sit there and think about nothing. Our brain has a neutral gear. 
not as true. My guy don't want me wearing lashes, but I hate no lashes. Am I going to cap to you, bro? It, I feel like this whole TikTok uh, gentrification have really ruined, like, a lot of women's self-confidence. Bro, I'm not going to cap to you. I don't, if I ever, if I'm if I'm dating a girl, bro, I don't care about no makeup, bro. I don't care about no makeup, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. Like I really don't care about no makeup. But you go on any TikTok comments and be like, oh, she got makeup on. She got makeup on. She got she she got makeup on. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I really don't care. I I, I really I really don't. I really don't care either way. You know what I'm saying? Like I I even rather it be no makeup personally. But that's just me. That's just me though. Our brain has a neutral gear. That eighty percent of the time they concretely what, what mean say? exactly what they say, which is nothing. Our brain has a this was such a game changer for me. You guys can sit there and think about nothing. Our brain has a neutral. That's true. Yeah, I mean, can can't anybody think? Can't anybody do that though? Is that like can't anybody do that though? Here, that eighty percent of the time they concretely mean exactly what they say, which is why only twenty percent of the time they understand what I'm saying. What? 80% of the time, they concretely mean exactly what they say, which is like, nigga, I always mean what I say, nigga. I always mean what I say, nigga. What if, like, I always mean what I say, nigga. If you cannot understand what I'm saying, it's not no secret message. It's not no message you got to decode. I always mean what I say, my nigga. I always mean what, unless I don't. Unless I'm talking to y'all. Then I always don't mean what I say, nigga. So if you heard me say anything sus on stream, I didn't mean it. Except when I caught myself before any of y'all niggas said it. Unless I said it on stream, nigga. Then I was probably doing it to be entertaining. I ain't going to to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you heard me say anything social stream, that doesn't apply, my nigga. Um, cap, 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 okay. What I'm saying, that if you show them exactly how much you appreciate them, they are more likely to be motivated to complete a task than if you nag them. That's a fact. The fact that men really are physically stronger. I always assumed this was purely based on size, but I'm a woman who works out every day, lifts weights, yoga, jogging slash peloton. I'm not gonna lie, she did not pay attention in health class in the slightest, nigga. I don't know how that came as a shock, nigga. Like, it, I, I, I didn't know that we was confused on how, how shit worked, but I mean. My older brother doesn't exercise outside of an occasional hike. He's four inches taller than me and 10 pounds lighter than I am. I'm a dress size zero or two. He's faster than me on a hike, including backpacking, and can lift up heavier things. It makes me so angry. Damn. When they wake up, they just sit down and stare at nothing for a good five minutes. <laughs> five minutes? Nigga, I might sit there and just be there for an entire hour, nigga. I'm not going to... That's just me, though. That's just me personally, nigga. I might just be there for an hour, my nigga. I'm not going to hold you. I ain't going to cap. Baby, I might just be there chilling, looking and thinking about life for an entire hour, my nigga. Only five, I'm saying. I'm saying, chat. I'm saying. Like, I might... It depends. It depends what how I'm feeling. It's never gonna be five minutes though. It's never gonna be five minutes. I might, I might dead ass be there looking at the ceiling for an entire hour, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. Y'all don't get this there. I sit for the whole hour. Man, I really gotta do this, today, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. I wake up, bro. Like, I'm like, damn, bro. I really gotta go do this today, bro. And today I gotta go face this challenge and then this, bro. I just think about how today's gonna go and da 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 da. And then after like. 20 minutes to an hour then i'll do i'll do what i gotta go do bro most women can't go blank as i call it i've done my research and they have to be thinking about something is that is that scientifically proven all right so uh that was that was interesting that was interesting that was interesting i ain't gonna cap and that's uh for the girls and that's for the girls bingo the atrocity talk to me the atrocity talk to me the atrocity talk to me. am i missing something i can't click on it to physically see how his board is. Am I missing something? Oh no, wait. Uh, the, the, there's there's nothing on here. Uh, Natrosity, you want to talk about it? All right. Well, if you're watching this on the tube, this is it for Reddit stories. Um, another good, interesting, horrible iteration of Reddit stories. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you come to the Twitch streams. Twitch will be right in the description so you can play bingo with us and everything like that. Uh, good video. I BBG. Alright. Holy bitch back like I'm double heaven. Hold up, triple deuces. Holy bitch up, we got all the juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, demon, man. Me by the cheerleaders, I want by.